Uh, there's apparently a boss behind me. I need to go up all the way up there. And you know what? I'm lazy and I'm going to make a plane to do that. See, I don't remember having seen a boss up here. I don't know where I'm getting that from. There's no boss here. Where's there a boss? Are those... Why are there 50 million tumbleweeds in here? Hi? Hi? Oh. This is a real pile of garbage, isn't it? Hard to not be upset at the sight. I spotted it during my travels, and the sight bothered me so much I couldn't stop help- I couldn't help stopping to clean oh. it up. I believe that we travelers have a duty to protect the beauty of nature and to not sully it with trash. Yep, when I leave a place, I want it to be cleaner than when I arrived. That's why I even travel with a broom, as you can see. Unfortunately, these tumbleweeds keep rolling in. There's just no end to it. I can't keep up. But I do want to keep this place cleaner than when I arrived, so I just can't overlook all of this. I think I could make some progress here if only these tumbleweeds didn't keep tumbling in. The Great Tumbleweed Purge. Okay, so I need to get rid of the tumbleweeds. What? I'm gonna set them on fire, I think, actually. I think that's the way. That'll do it. Look at him. Oh, what a weird quest. Strange quest. Also, what kind of person brings a broom into nature with them? Are they... Is she crazy? Oh, the tumbleweeds are gone. Oh, did you clean them all up? There were so many. Was that a lot of work? Thank you so much. Please take this. It's something special I found while she while cleaning. <laughs> now that now that all the tumbleweeds are gone, I can handle cleaning up the rest of this myself. Leave it to me. Just a little more. Yeah, just, just a tiny bit. Ah. All right. Well, I don't really believe that this is ever going to change, but you know, you do you. I guess you sweep up this nature. We're finally on the beach. And I'm gonna make my way over to the, uh... I can always forget the name of the dragons. I played the first Zelda game. That was my first... Actually, it was my second video game, period. I can never remember the name of... Hinox, Hinox, Stalnox, Gleok. Gleok is their name. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way across the beach over to the Gleok. He looks very angry. I'm going to leave him alone. I think the thing I dislike about the Koroks the most, like these Koroks, is that it feels like they are here for the sole purpose of separating you from your horse. And when, I mean, you're in a giant open world game that's three times, well, not three times, but like two and a half times the size of Breath of the Wild, it's like, it's such an inconvenience. It's kind of funny staring into such a bright sky because... I am constantly staring into bright lights, and so it didn't even register to me that the sky was bright. I'm like, no, that's just, that's just how my recording setup is. This is the end of the line for, uh, for Yeto for the time being, because I have a dragon to kill. Let's see if he can at least get me a little bit closer to it, but as we enter, I mean, not a new area, but the eastern section of southern middle Hyrule, incredibly specific. We have a dragon that needs killing. Like, I'm literally just walking around here just to see if there's a Korok seed. Like, right there. Yep, exactly right here. Bada bing. And then we're gonna go kill a dragon as I get jump scared by a Korok. Three star Vonaburus Divine Helm. That's gonna be a sizable chunk in, in defense. Thunder Gleok, here we go. The skies instantly darken, and we are in the middle of a storm. Okay. Before I get jolted out of the sky, let's bring him to the ground. Whoa, there's one there's one more left. Wait, hold on. And then I'm going to unequip my my gear in this menu because uh I think I'm frames away from dying. Do I even have 
this apparently is fine. This is a gnarled wooden stick, and it's... Okay, sure. Okay, cool. I'm no longer sparking. I still have my attack up gear. It's... This isn't going to be a whole lot of damage. That's not a whole lot of damage. That's not a whole lot of damage. Switch shields over to another rocket shield. I need to get up. Get up, get up, get up. Okay. Whoa. No, you don't. I don't see his other eye. There it is. Perfect. I don't remember what uh, this guy, I think, because they all have their special phase too, and I don't remember what his was. Get out of the way. Don't get blasted back. And then we're going to chase him into the air one more time. And not give him the opportunity. Got him. Not give him the opportunity to actually get an attack off. That is the best way to fight these Gleox, and it's successful every time. Easy. It's not even incredibly worth doing. It's just... It's... I, I don't know. It's that drive in me. I see a challenge. I have to go tackle it. I have to go shield bash the same Lionel 50 times in a row. Even though, you know, I die to it most of those times. Uh, and now, I... I think we need to do a very brief, like, skim over, uh, over this, this chunk of land, but I think that's about it before we head into the jungle, and I, I want to have a gap between us heading into the jungle and us clearing out the depths slash tackling the Thunderhead. I think the Thunderhead is probably going to be the next thing I do, but this road is kind of surprising to me that there was no shrine attached to it. Like, we, we kind of dipped our toe in here earlier, but I just didn't see anything of note. Oh, that's a good sign, though. That's a bloopy. Okay. Bloopy, where are you going to take me? You're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Hi. Oh, that, that could be a shrine. Okay. Like we have some random survivors fighting. Yeah. And in this strange maw, we have the Sarjan Woods Cave. Really? Oh, this is one of Misko's treasures. Let's go. Okay, keep a very close eye out. Oh, I don't have... Um, buddy. You can just drown, actually. Why they put these guys above water so often is beyond me. Let's see if I can get... I'm not going to be able to get a shot on this horrible one, but Tulin might be able to. Do I have my... I don't have my spirits. This is awkward. Die. There. Yeah, this is a strange cave. They're just giving us Horblin after Horblin. Two. Are they inside each other? I dare say they were inside each other for a second. I didn't get the most important one. I don't want him one-shotting me. Oh, you are in my grill. And now you're drowning. Thank you for your stuff. What is that? Is that a tree? What is that? Palm tree? And what's in here? I hope we get a shrine, because only getting one shrine in an entire recording session, I mean, 
like one and a half really, is very strange. It's very odd to, to have only gotten one shrine to show for all of my progress. Like, what? What is this about? I also need to pay real close attention to the ceiling, because they all too often like to hide... ...mini caves in here. Signs are pointing to this being Misko's treasure. I'm really excited for what this could be. It's been a while since we got some equipment. Nothing here. But it has all the hallmarks. A random like-like. And no... No real refuge here. I wonder if they're giving us those logs because they can be, like, set on fire. And then we can use those to burn the, uh... The vines. Okay, please don't eat me, sir. I really don't want to be eaten today. No. Oh. Nice try, nice try, nice try, respectable, respectable, but you can live, I can live, we can both live. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. There we go. And we're, we're here. Very linear cave, but... Definitely an interesting one. All right, what's the treasure? What's the treasure? No shrine, though. That's very strange. What is it? Something good? Eh. Actually, that's kind of useless, to be honest. That's like I'm wearing something that's infinitely better other than the set bonus, but sure. Whatevs. And I wish, I really wish that there was a shrine. It's nice that they give these little nubs from the ceiling so that it's easy to, to ascend out. And here we are on the surface. Where are we? Look at that. There's a great fairy fountain right nearby. It does, it's almost not important right now. Like, why do, would we need a great fairy fountain when I can barely upgrade all of my armor to two stars anyway? Like, the great fairies... I'm I'm okay if we shelve that quest line for a while. Hi, Lionel. I was kind of hoping there was one of you. Doesn't see me. I should be able to land on him. Switch over to my good gear. I like the uh, the irony of of shooting him in the back of the head with hooves. You're even a crusher, Lionel. I take great pleasure in this. What? I... What? Hello? Hello? I clearly should have gotten the flurry rush on that. Ugh. Why? Why? That was dumb. Should not have happened. Come on. Okay, next exchange will kill him. There we go. I got him. He's dead. It wasn't hard. I cannot see a thing. I am floating into a white void um, that, while it may not look like pea steam anymore, it just kind of looks like milk. And I would think that there would be a shrine in here somewhere. But there isn't. Although, these statues kind of make me think like there is something. These statues are kind of... Weird. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Are these... These are lightning rods. That's weird. I wonder if that'll be relevant for a quest later, or if it's just an unmarked something. 
But it is interesting that those are lightning rods. I wonder if that'll be relevant for a quest later, or if it's just an unmarked something. I'm... What on earth hit me? That was... Oh. What is hitting me? What is arcing to me? What is happening? I've never seen this before. That's a thing? What is happening? That's wild. That is really weird. Huh. You learn something new every day, I guess. Okay, but now... I think it's time. I think it's high time we put an end to this madness. We put an end to this storm of inconvenience and disgusting fall. I hate fall. Fall is my least favorite season. It's pretty for three weeks, and then it just turns to wet winter. And when it's winter, at least it could snow and it's pretty. But no. No. It's autumn. It feels gross, and so I'm going to go deal with it. Uh, where is the Thunderhead? Where is it? Here we go. I don't have that much Zonite, so if I fail this, I don't really have much of a second chance here. This is the closest Sky Island I could have gone. I guess that's technically a little bit closer. Hopefully that won't make the difference here. I am, you can tell it in my voice and I guess by looking at me with this new recording setup, I'm a little bit nervous about getting in here because I don't know how easily I can dock a plane. I'm, I'm not very good at it. I haven't done it in a long, long time. I mean like months. And if that's what's demanded of me, I don't know if I can deliver. And we need to get in here. I, I think it's best if we go into the... Into the high storm uh, thunderhead rather than the low. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I can get inside. It might just blow me off course. It might be impenetrable until there's some sort of story objective. I have a heading. There's something that shows through the flickering. <sighs> Do I chance it? How close am I? I am pretty close. I'm gonna try it. Whoa, that's... I don't know if that's good enough. Whoa! I see something! Where did that come from? Am I inside it? 